House Harkonnen, from the volcanic wasteland of Gidi Prime. The Harkonnen know only malevolence, hatred, and brutality. Their leader is the corrupt and vile Baron Rakan. Rakan's power-hungry sons, Gunsang and Kopek, eagerly await the Baron's death. Each plots to take his place, but while he lives, they feed upon him like parasites. Have you no tongue? Perhaps you're wiser than your appearance dictates. I am the Mentat, Yanat Kobal. Have no fear, you are not to be killed. The Baron will postpone that small pleasure as long as you are of use to us. No doubt you've heard, the Baron Rakan is not well. Soon one of his sons will take his place. You do well to ingratiate yourself to them. They may not be as far-sighted as their father. This way... It's to be war. Sublime war. We will crush the Atreides and the Orlos, and then we will defile the bodies of their dead. All hail the Punisher Emperor Rakan Harkonnen. Your brother praises me while he looms like a vulture waiting to feed upon my corpse. Could I ask for a more suitable heir? You could ask. <laughs> mother, mother, can I get you something? No, leave, leave me, leave me! Both of you! Why are you hovering there, Mentat? Step forward. What have you brought me here? It is the replacement you requested, my lord baron. It doesn't look like much. If this one performs as badly as the last one, I'll have you strangled along with it. This sickness makes me forgetful. It is your predecessor. <laughs> Observe closely. This unappealing, waterless ball of dust is the planet Arrakis. But make no mistake, a handful of that dust is worth your life a hundred times over. Now, your training begins. In the name of Giddy Prime, I welcome you. You have been given a rare opportunity, Commander. You've been chosen to command the Harkonnen forces in this War of Assassins. A war that will determine the next heir to the Golden Lion Throne, the next ruler of the known universe. Destroy yes. the base, Commander. Kill the enemy. Yes. Remember, the destiny of House Harkonnen is tied to Arrakis and the Spice Melange. Yes. He who controls Arrakis controls the Spice. And he who controls the spice controls the universe. House Harkonnen must control the spice. The enemy is on the attack. The enemy is on the attack.
Destroy the base, Commander. At once. At once. Yes. This troop is ready. Yes. Kill the enemy.
prisoners! Understood at once! For the Baron! Victory is yours! This is war, sublime war. There can be no retreat. Bravo. You did surprisingly well on Arrakis. But there is much more to learn about the Baron Spice Planet. There is a native population. They are called Fremen, a desert people. Wanderers that wear water reclamation units called still suits. They are of little use to us, but they can be very dangerous. We must also consider the Imperial Sardukar. They were born to serve an emperor. Without one, they have no purpose. They may prove to be of great value. Even as we speak, they travel to Arrakis. They will support the house that proves to be the strongest. Of course, that will be House Harkonnen. You would do well to seek an alliance with them as soon as possible. This is what passes for a Harkonnen military commander? <laughs> I fear my father is losing his senses. Our father chose this one to lead our forces on Arrakis. The Book of Fade speaks of a single fire slug bringing defeat upon an entire horde of Anthrak. Appearances can be deceiving. And optimism clouds judgment. We shall see soon enough. Ha! When he and the Mentat return to Arrakis, I shall go with them to oversee the spice mining. You? Why should you go? I am the oldest. My father requests it. Then he has lost his senses. The Mentat will continue to oversee you. Now, if you prove ineffective, you witness the fate of our last commander. So what? I am to remain here on Gady Prime? Draining the Baron's pustules? Wiping the spittle from his innumerable chin? Study your charm film book, brother! You insolent! I shall be Baron soon. Perhaps even Emperor. Then you'll pay for your disrespect, baby brother. Abject terror consumes me. Do be careful on Arrakis. A knife in the back can come from any hand. Perhaps even a trusted one. <laughs> Doubtless you've heard the ancient expression, trust him like a brother. These two give the phrase an entirely new subtext. Blood will be shed before their private war is over. If you get between them, that blood will be yours. In the meantime, you will continue to capture territories. The barren spice must flow.